Hello YouTubers, I'm going to look at some mail art that I've gotten lately. I'm going to start off with this one. This is from Stang Room in Massachusetts. And he sends me these very faithfully. It's, uh, it's when he finds change on the street, he makes a postcard about it. And of course he didn't find any. So he usually has the, like 15 cents or whatever. So yeah, that's his. It's every, this is all hand stamped and it's really nice. I'm gonna kind of go through these fast because just because I want to. And this is beautiful. This is from someone that I've known for a while, Diana Hale. And she made these beautiful, I've already torn them apart because I've used some. These are artist stamps of some, what looks like old uh, maybe made of bone um, dominoes and they're really nice they're gummed on the back so I can just you know and they're perforated so I can just take these apart and I've already started using them and I really like them I just sent her something in the mail and uh, yeah so that's from Diana Hale in Virginia and I love these did I mention that I love them I do. So, that's number two. And then we have a nice mailing from... This is like an original collage from Coco Muchmore, who I've also known for a while. I think I met her on the uh, mail art website, Ioma. And she just wrote a little note. She made this. This is an original, and it's beautiful. And uh, she even has a little poem on the back. Anyway, love it. I don't know if it shows on here, but it, this is metallic gold. And anyway, Coco much more. Love it. Next, this is someone that I've known for a while, too. This is Thomas Brown, who's also online in a variety of ways and has a blog about mail art which you should all take a look at and there's the address mailartnews.blogspot.com and he sent a couple of things rubber stamp things he makes these cool little drawings um, this is a collage too and nicely decorated envelope with some artist stamps and a real stamp and some Different things stamped on here. There's the, if you scan that, you'll it'll take you right to his mail art news. So give that a try. But anyway, Thomas Brown. And the last one here is from C. Merle Bennett, Kathy Bennett in Columbus, Ohio. And I I'm actually Instagram friends with some of these people, and I she was posting pictures of these, which are based on uh, pareidolia, I think, which is where you see things like in the clouds or see patterns in the wallpaper that look like something. So she did all these beautiful little, I think they're watercolors, and then she made them into these circular stamps. And again, I love these, and I've been putting them on my outgoing mail art. And these are just awesome. And of course, she... And her husband, John, are well-known, long-standing, legendary male artists that have been around for a, a long time. And then she sent a few other things, uh, some little booklets. I think some of these are collaborations with John Bennett. And uh, these are just awesome, too. Love them. And this one's called... I don't know what it's called, but it's nice. I love it. Just trying to make sure I can show it in here. Anyway, yeah, these are beautiful. I love her stuff. We've actually done a few collaborations in the past. It's been a while, but maybe we should do that again. And here's the envelope with the giant rubber stamps and some artist stamps and a real stamp and nothing on the back. So anyway, that is some of my recent mail art. I hope you enjoyed it, 
and it's fun to show it to you on video. And uh, I'm just going to get them all back in here and shuffle them around just because I can. Sometimes it's hard to get them back into the uh, envelopes. It happens. That's just what I'm struggling with right now. Get in there. Okay. Or not. Whatever. Okay, that one's not going back in. But anyway, here's some mail art. Recent mail art. How better can I say it? It's mail art. Thanks for watching.